Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada. This is your afternoon delight. Your crowning energies today will be the 10 of water and the five of water, 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 water. 10 of water is the same as the 10 of cups, which is the ultimate emotional fulfillment in family, love, life, and home. Five of water is grieving yet not seeing that horseshoe on its tail. Someone said in the comments uh, a day or two ago about seahorses who come to see each other every morning to make sure, because they mate for life, come to see each other every morning to make sure that, you know, they're, they're okay. You're okay, dear? Yes. Are you okay, dear? Yes. And then off they swim. But they mate for life. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I thought it was a lovely story. I'm not sure I even told it right. So you are grieving the loss of something, but you do have a beautiful treasure on your tail there that you haven't noticed yet. We have the King of Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. This one is enlightened, and his heart is beating hard for you. And the Queen of Fire. How often does this happen, guys? The king and queen of fire. So we're talking about twin flames today. Page of air is a message coming in quickly. Uh, sometimes the delivery is not so great because he is just a page, but it's very direct. It's very, it brings clarity with it. This is also a card about control. You can see your wings flapping there, trying to control the direction of that feather. Maybe even trying to avoid that message, but in, it is coming and it will bring clarity. Four of air, this is your spiritual retreat card. Going within for spiritual, literal, spiritual and or physical healing. Eight of air is feeling stuck. Now usually this card is about self inflicted yeah self-inflicted being stuck in other cards she's uh, or he blindfolded and chained but they put that blindfold and chains on or you put that blindfold and chains on and you can get out of it anytime you want the beauty of the eight of air though is in the catalyst hidden messages book books talks about when someone does that it is literally surrendering to spirit to guide them out step by step it's like when you reach a point that you're stuck you don't know which way to turn and so you're like uh i have no idea what is right or what is wrong the wrong direction so i'm surrendering all to god and letting him guide me out uh, your will lord wherever you lead me i'll go to me, that is a beautiful card in its own right. The Hermit, the heart of your reading. You are doing a lot of spirit work here and spiritual healing. Could be that... Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to say anything now. Page of Fire is uh, a message, another message coming in. Could be the same message, the same page coming in with this message that brings clarity and passion but it's also going to open up either an idea or a path or a revelation of the direction you're going to go the hierophant this is all about tradition yeah. ancestral grounded roots messenger of fire this is the step up from the page of fire with this messenger of fire this is unstoppable energy as you can see she's wearing the crown of candles so that she has made a conscious effort to try to connect to her higher self by making this crown to open her crown energies to to the highest from the higher self to source 
And as I said, that's unstoppable energy that's coming in. Five of air, this is inner conflict. It could also be outer conflict, backbiting, backstabbing, gossiping. But it could be both inner and outer conflict. And as I have said before too, sometimes what I see in this card, and it, it looks to me that way today, it's like, look at how beautiful you're dancing. And these birds are all flying willy-nilly. It's like they didn't get the memo from the choreographer. But you know what you're doing, and you know where you're going. Let's clarify these cards and open them a little more of the story. Overall, look at the look at the colors of this. We have a hues of blue and hues of earth. And right up here, the fire, twin flames. So if you're not in a twin flame situation, you are calling me in. Oops, thank you, spirit. Celebration, reunion, clarifying the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. I don't get a three-party situation out of this at all. Not with the Ten of Cups. This is a celebration, possibly a marriage, a wedding um, celebration, re reuniting families or uniting families. Five of Water, the grieving. You're going to, when you see the seahorse or when you come out of this grieving period, you will have a passionate new beginning. Yesterday's reading was all about letting go and clearing old energies to allow this beautiful love to come in. And this looks like the jump. King of Fire is reaching, finding the solution, overcoming obstacles, taking control. The Queen of Fire has gone into Hermit mode, withdrawn, soul-searching. So it, it looks like the King is literally reaching out for his Queen, who is detached. But he's finding a way, he's finding a way to reach her. And we have our Messenger Bird, our Messenger, our little Guardian reporting back and forth this message that is coming in that brings clarity is bringing in the ace of pentacles this is a god-given gift of abundance prosperity stability newness the beginning of building your legacy your spirit healing, your spiritual healing, your physical healing, whatever the healing is that you're going through, you're going to have victory over it. Absolute victory. There's our messenger again, actually celebrating with you. Eight of air, where you're stuck, you're going to be unstuck. And in this, uh, it's called the battle wagon in this deck. I'm really not sure why it doesn't look like battle at all. Our messenger is there. And these horses are charging in symphony in unison. They're not fighting which direction they're going in. There's perfect balance here. There's a purity about this card. But whatever was making you feel stuck, you're about to break free from it. The Hermit card. So, and I'm guessing it's the Queen of Fire because of the Hermit card up here. But clarifying the Hermit card in the heart of the reading is the Five of Pentacles where you're feeling left out in the cold. And not noticing those beautiful pentacles above your head that will bring you prosperity. This is a short-term card. You will see those pentacles within the next few days or weeks. 
page of fire. Here's that passionate new beginning. The path opening up that I mentioned earlier. That path is opening up with your shadow work. You walking away from a dried well. And, and in this particular card, it seems like you're not just doing it for your own sake, but for the highest good of all. The higher offense is going to be clarified with the lovers. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but this is traditional, traditional love, traditional marriage, traditional union. And this is under the tree of knowledge, divinely guided, making the choice to do the right thing by the right person. Messenger of fire is going to be clarified by that wounded warrior who has okay here you are unstoppable energy consciously opening up that chakra to connect with higher self and this is you setting your boundary boundaries firmly in place you're at the nine of wands you're almost at completion you're almost there and as for this conflict and we've had spiritual healing taking place, this conflict is going to, it's like the make and break, or the break and make. Being independent, knowing that you can do all of these things, that you don't need anyone to be complete, and that your desires and wishes will come to fruition. Beautiful energy. Beautiful. I'm going to take this over to the member site. Everything is in the description below. If you want to come over there and join us, it will you will be accessing all of the extended readings for the afternoon delights and the zodiacs, the weekly zodiacs for the entire month. Um, also, readings are twenty five dollars. If you want to ask any amount of amount of questions, I'll answer as many as I can in the fifteen to twenty minute period. Please hit like, that really helps me, and subscribe if you have not. God bless you. I hope to see you over there, and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.